Somebody hit the panic button at 322, about a half hour into the blackout. The system has an eight-hour battery. What time did you get here? 417. As soon as the blackout hit, our board went nuts. A lot of old ladies can't find their flashlights. I tried calling the police. They were busy, all the traffic lights out. And right, I got it. How'd you get in? The garage. Somebody had to close it all the way. They were like this when we came in. Throat's cut. Looks like she was on her way out. It's her purse on the table, Isabel Paez. She's the housekeeper. Been with the family eight years. What's going on? But this is my house. John Conlon? Yes. I got a call to come home. The traffic was jammed up. Did I had to run. Over here, Mr. Conlon? Oh my God, is that Isabel? Where's my wife and my daughter Katie? They're not here. What? No, no, they were here when the power went well, out. Maybe they went to see a friend. Listen, would you go outside with this officer while we figure this out, please? Paul Van Buren, tell him we're looking at a possible kidnap. Yeah, tell her we could use 10 hours of daylight, too. I want trap and traces up on all phones registered to Mr. Conlon. And believe me, I know there's a blackout. Sergeant Simmons, where's my generator? Same place it was a half hour ago, LT. Traffic. Well, there's a hardware store two blocks north on Lex. If they have any portable generators, commandeer them. I got him making a list of all the people that have been in the house in the last six months. Good. Keep him busy. He runs a $200 million hedge fund. He's not a patient man by nature. The security company's got video of the kidnap. This was streamed from our office in Jersey City. It's a graphic reconstruction based on data from the motion and heat sensors in the home. That dot moving there toward the front door is the housekeeper. There's the intruders. They killed the housekeeper, and now they're going for the mom and daughter. And that's somebody hitting the panic button in the hallway. The battery died, I'm sorry. That door they went through, where does it lead? This looks fresh. That's an electric motor. Somehow they got this door open, they backed the car in, and. Loaded up their victims. Dents high on the fender. We're probably talking about a van or an SUV. Blue van or SUV. Start knocking on doors. No, sorry. I was running around looking for batteries. So, what's going on with the Conlins? Burglary. Of course. No alarm. I hope they're sending the bills to Con Ed. <laughs> I got home around 5. Right. Yeah. Okay, so that was after. You look thirsty. Do you, do you want one? No. No, thank you. And you know, you're not actually supposed to be drinking that outside. Uh, maybe you should walk me home. My husband's out of town, so, you know, what happens in a blackout doesn't really count. Maybe. Let's go. The ransom call just came in. 15 million by midnight, or they both die. How do I know they're still alive? I need proof before I agree to anything. Dad? I'm right here, sweetie. Mom's here, we're okay. We're just scared. Katie? Katie? Okay now? 15 million by midnight. I can't get the money that fast. The banks aren't open. Have one opened. A guy like you? Just call one of your friends. Look, it's not that easy. The safes won't open when the power's out, but I have cash in the house and maybe $2 million in jewelry. The price is $15 million. I know, and you'll get it all when the power's back on. It's, look, it's considered a show of good faith. You know I'm willing to pay. We'll call you back. It's OK, Mr. Conlon. You did fine. You got us a chance to catch these guys. As soon as they take the bag, we can track them. Just make the drop. Do not confront them. Are, are we clear about that? I'm no hero. I just want my family back. Well, at least the power was almost back on. Don't get your hopes up. That generator is as old as me. Look, I need a release form for Mr. Conlon, but with all this... No problem. There is an antique typewriter in McCoy's office. I'll go pry it out of his hands. Excellent. Blue. Forensics tied the paint chips from the garage to a 
98 Chevy cargo van. We put the description out on the air, but communication says we're lucky if 15% of the force gets it. Oh, this just gets better. LT, the radios are almost out of juice, and we can't recharge them. You know, I heard a rumor there was a time when police officers didn't have radios. You know, you all were issued whistles as a part of your standard equipment. Now would be the time to use them. If you've misplaced yours, you could get a new one from the supply room. And if you forgot the whistle codes, it's one long, two short, suspect sighted, three short, officer needs assistance. Lieutenant, Yeah. you got a text. They want me at Barrow and Commerce. Get ready to roll, people. Yeah, I'm here. Start walking towards Hudson. Look for a cab. There he goes. I'm sorry. He's dead. 